Hello and welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, you know, I was uh, reporting on some new speakers that I got specifically for the Flex. Uh, if you go to many uh, ham fests around the country and you go into the Flex booth, you'll see that they're using a pair of Bose Companion 2 speakers. <clears throat> now I know that on uh, YouTube it's not going to be possible to get exactly what I hear uh, here in the ham shack when I'm listening to uh, single sideband uh, using these speakers, but I can tell you that they are much better than say my Kenwood SP31 uh, speakers which I also have those uh, attached to my ICOM 7000. I can tell you these sound much better than uh, the Kenwood SP31. So a lot of hams think that you can't use these hi-fi speakers uh, because uh, you won't be able to pull signals, <laughs> weak signals, out of the clutter. Uh, however, these don't have a whole lot of bass to them because they're just simply bookshelf speakers. They do have some bass and uh, they reproduce the mid-range and the higher frequencies uh, very, very well. So that makes it... Uh, makes the voice portion of it uh, really stand out and I enjoy these speakers there. A couple of reasons why I bought them were uh, Flex recommended them of course and uh, all the reports say that they are RFI immune and I can verify that as you can see I've got them uh, set up next to my monitors and actually the one on the right hand side of the screen over here is sitting right next to my amplifier. So uh, I haven't had any uh, RFI getting into that speaker from the amp or from the monitors or going back into the computer and uh, messing up the audio. They seem to be very immune to uh, any kind of radio frequency. Uh, so that was the other reason. And the third reason was, I'm going to step away from the camera, see if I can pick up this speaker and show you the back of it. So here we are over here. Let's see if I can get this out for you and just show you the back. And as you can see, uh, it has dual inputs so you can actually plug in two sources into the back of this speaker so I can plug in the flex radio directly there and I can also plug in my computer speakers directly into them uh, this eliminated my having a double stack of speakers uh, as I was previously doing, one for the computer and uh, one for the flex radio. So very handy, neat deal with two inputs. And again, I uh, don't have any magnets or ferrets on those cables and I am getting no RFI back into the flex radio or anything else. So uh, I'm going to let you hear a little bit of this and I position the camera I'm sitting behind it right now and I've got it positioned kind of where I sit uh, when I'm listening to the radio so I've had the flex turned off I'm gonna go over here and find the signal and let you hear this now one of the things I heard from the old hams, you know, they, they kind of know everything about everything, right? Is that you don't want to use these speakers because you can't hear weak signals. So here is a medium strength signal that you're listening to right now. And the other fellow that's talking is very weak. So I'm going to let you listen to this QSO for a minute 
Can you tell me if you can hear the weaker signal that this fella is talking to? And he is down in the noise, and you can still hear him. I don't know how this is coming out on YouTube. I can hear him here. And I guess the only thing that can beat these is a pair of earphones, of course, which is the ultimate solution to picking up weak signals. But for normal radio work on single sideband, let's, let's move down the band. about these Bose Companion 2 speakers. I am highly recommending them. Uh, of course, when you're listening to music on the computer, it, they have pretty fair sound for that. And uh, I had almost bought a regular pair of studio monitors, but uh, being a poor ham, I happened to find these a uh, whole lot uh, better priced uh, on eBay used you can buy them brand new for about $99 bought them less than that on eBay and of course they work perfect and uh, I guess uh, it's really not necessary to have studio monitors unless you want to have a, a high dollar uh, ham shack but these work great uh, they sound better than any other type speaker I've had Cobra speakers up here I've had uh, Altec Lansing speakers etc you know tried a bunch of them and these Bose Companion 2's uh, seem to work great highly recommend them uh, look up, look them up on eBay. You'll find some Bose Companion 3s. Now I can't really tell you anything about those. Uh, it's a little bit a later model. Notice that mine does have a volume knob on the front. Okay, it does have a volume knob. I've seen some of these Bose speakers without volume knobs on them so can't really tell you about those uh, these are Bose Companion 2 anyway with that said I wish you clear skies and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night everybody be good 73 all around see y'all later